everything I stayed down there yeah. so that I can marinate in it <laughs> and t- now it's whatever you know mm-hmm. the other day I was chilling here at night when we were working and Kesh was like yeah those I beat you I go to a man oh then, damn yeah, bruh it's not like as a person I'm willing to risk it all on it Sometimes when I hear certain conversations that happened in Biggie's house without us, the viewers, being a witness to it, I, I begin to wish that we could actually view the show with four different cameras on our TV screens. You know, for instance, now as it is, we are only seeing the show from one camera's view. It is what that one camera shows us at a time that we get to see, that we get to experience, that we get to witness. But guys, honestly, I really, really wish that we could have four cameras at a time, you know, one, two, three, four on our screens. So we are seeing this conversation happen. But guys, I know it's going to be complicated. It doesn't really make sense, but I wish. The reason I'm thinking like this is because guys, a whole lot sure does happen in Biggie's house that off the viewers, we never get to see or we will never know except when a confrontation happens or maybe when an, an, an outburst happens or when a gossip session happens. That is only when we get to know and we get to see, oh, this thing happened, oh, that thing happened, oh my God, why didn't the camera show us? You know, I mean, guys, I was listening to the conversation between Libo and Tools last night and then there was also the conversation that happened with, um, that's Nale. Venus and Tools as well and these people they were just saying things and I was lost because we did not see those things happen and here I was thinking that Gashwan and Tato were fully occupied really busy basking in the euphoria of their newfound love their newfound connection their situationship not knowing that Gashwan has been very busy he has been going about goading the likes of Libo and Tools over the fact that he has won the woman that is he has won tato he won they lost you know just making petty remarks like that and i was wondering like what the hell is going on <laughs> you know what guys <laughs> watch to the end of this video as i give you the juicy details of the conversation that libo and tools had and listen i must say this after school it's gonna be wild Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Frankie speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. And the tea of this video, guys, it's quite interesting. So, Libo and Tools, they were having a conversation um, last night after their weekly wager task presentation. By the way, that was simply an amazing show. It was mind-blowing. I'll say that over and over again. If you missed out on that show, I did a video about it, giving you guys the full details of everything that happened with that show. So, please check it out. Oh, and also, before I continue, um, good news, guys. We are going to be having an interesting conversation with Antal happy tomorrow tomorrow is saturday um you know what happens here every saturday we're going to be having our saturday youtube live stream 3 p.m wat or 4 p.m cat so please do not miss out and tabby was post friend in the ongoing bb exam this is in three show she was edited on sunday last week and we will be having a conversation with her just as we have been having conversations with all the housemates that have been evicted from the show so if you have your questions if you are curious about that very very interesting relationship between Ntabi and Buwabadimo you surely want to join tomorrow's conversation so and um, that said let me just quickly continue with the Libo and Tuzi's conversation so, apparently here we were thinking that oh Gashwan and Tato they are having fun which of course obviously I mean conspicuously <laughs> they are because they are literally all over the place they they, they show their love in the kitchen they express it in the in the garden they express it on the patio they express it on the bed I mean in any of the rooms now formerly it used to be Gashwan's bed or Tato's bed now they've elevated it having fun on Tuzi's bed upstairs and guys honestly it all seems like oh yeah the fun is going on people are enjoying each other's company but little did we know that in the midst of all of that in the midst of all the activities as well going on in the house Gashwan has been golden you know throwing jabs making sly remarks 
at um, tools and libo at least that was what they said and that is why i made the statement i made at the beginning of this video that i wish that we could see everything that happens in the house at the same time because sometimes there are certain things that you hear and you cannot believe it they just sound fantastically unbelievable yeah but from what tools and libo said their story kind of marinates and it, it, it corroborates somehow as libo said that um when on one or two occasions you'll be having conversations with tato gashwan will just come and ask him what are you doing here you know like literally marking his territory around tato and tato too is enjoying the flow you know and then she too will be like oh now do you understand how it feels you know wearing your own shoes you know kind of throwing jabs like oh you rejected me before now i found someone that likes me and then gashon on the other hand for him it's not even about winning tato now from tools and libos conversation guys um it's now about oh this is a masculine hustle for a woman of course we we've read in several books that men are the pursuers the chasers you know the predators so they it, it's when they are after a woman it's like a hunt they want to carry the trophy for being the one that actually eventually wins the heart of the woman so that was exactly what Libo and Tools were explaining from Gashwa's actions towards them. But according to Libo, whenever he's talking to Tato, Gashwan is there all of a sudden asking him, what are you doing here? You know, questions like that. And Tato seems to be enjoying all of that as well. And then for Tuesday's own experience, <laughs> he said that Gashwan literally came to him and told him, I am, I win, I win woman, I win woman. Something, you know, those are their stupid Dracula language. Oh, I win the woman, you lose. And Tools was like, he found it very hilarious because, hey, he had just won the title of head of house, helping him to save himself for one more week. So, dude, what are you talking about? You know? And then they went on to talk about how Gashwan is very, very sneaky, playing a game because he is kind of having eyes for Mpua Badimo. And then also, he is doing a lot of PDAs to show the guys, you know, that is Tools and Libo that, yes, I won Tattoo. You people did not win Tato. I am fully aware that you people had a crush on Tato. She had a crush on you, but now she chose me. She's not with you people, she's with me. And then they went ahead to express their fears for Tato because according to them, Gashon is very smart and very, very sneaky. And almost everything he does in the house is geared towards winning that two million. So they are scared for Tato because they wish she knew how many layers that Gashwan has. Yeah, that if she could peel all of his layers, then probably she would see if he's being genuine or not. But guys, for me, I don't know what to say to that because I'm not in that house 24 seven like these houses. I can only watch and see what they do from my TV screen. So I don't know guys, what do you think about that conversation? Go ahead, let me know your own thoughts in the comment section below. Now, meanwhile, whilst that conversation was going on, Venus was kind of, um, should I say, purgating her emotions to Nali upstairs. Now, Venus apparently is kind of sad and disappointed in Temba because, guys, I don't know how many of you have noticed, but since this week, after Venus had constantly rejected and rejected um, Temba's advances towards wanting um, a relationship in the house, Temba had eventually moved his port to Mpuwabadimo. And it will interest you to know that Mpuwabadimo is also kind of slowly and gradually reciprocating all of Temba's advances. Now, both of them, they've been flirting with each other from time to time, from day one in the house. So it's nothing new. They have that rapport. But this week, it, tends, it tended to be more obvious, maybe because they are now reduced to the number of 10. So Venus has clearly been seeing all of these things. And Temba is unapologetic about it. Because one time, he had told Venus that, listen, if you tell me you're going to be my girl right now, I will stop every other activity that I'm doing in this house chasing other women. But if you're not giving me anything to hold on to, then I'm sorry, I cannot stop. And <laughs> Venus too had been going on about, oh, I don't want any relationship in the house. And so guys, Temba had had no choice but to continue. But then I was kind of disappointed in Temba because yesterday he was having a conversation with Gashwan on the patio. Oh God. That was when he opened his mouth and then he was stealing to Gashwan that oh he actually had his way with Entabi in the bathroom or was it in the closet that Entabi allowed him to do two thrusts if you know what I mean and he could not get in properly because her poopoo -poo was too tight guys I said no way no way am I gonna be with a man that is a kiss and tell 
No way am I going to have anything, not even a one night stand with a man that cannot keep his mouth shut. I was really disgusted that Temba could share that information. Yes, I was really, really disappointed. Yes, and I felt bad for Tabby because, hey, this is somebody that she obviously was attracted to in the house before she was evicted and she gave herself to him like that. And that thing happened on Saturday night. And that was what Lawrence was referring to on Sunday during the live eviction show. Guys, honestly, as I have been saying, and I will continue saying it, it is after school that we'll get to find out if for real, Gashwan is not playing Tato. And if Tato is not playing Gashwan. And then Tools also revealed that it was because of Tato he had moved downstairs, that he really wanted to immerse himself in that feeling he was feeling towards Tato. He really wanted to, you know, soak himself in all of that feeling and see where it would lead him. But then sadly, he realized that he wasn't really feeling Tato like that at all, at all. That for the fact that even when he had used his veto power to do a save and replace, that he realized that even as as at that time doing that he, he did not really feel anything for tato at all so he did not really qualify to be a crush and labor also confessed likewise that he initially thought he had a serious crush on tato that he felt something for tato but then over time he realized that it is a demo that he had always been attracted to that even till now that both of them they don't have anything even though they have resolved their issues that he Mpo still occupies his heart, that that is who he is, that he does not easily let go, you know, with people that he has true affections for. And then guys, all of them, they moved back to their room upstairs. They carried their load and moved back upstairs. They said they had had enough. Mm. <laughs> even Venus too relocated from downstairs to upstairs. And it was quite hilarious because even though she was trying to justify her, you know, constant movements, I just knew that, girl, it's because of Temba. You moved downstairs because of Temba. Now <laughs> you're up for eviction. Nothing could save you. Now you're going back upstairs because you've seen that this dude is not giving attention to Upo Wabadimo. So it seems as though the only person that remains downstairs now from the room upstairs is Sister Mara. He's kind of enjoying, you know, that separation from the Terry's gang upstairs. But let's see how it goes. Listen, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I will see you guys on another episode of Frankly Speaking with Larry Elijah. Have an amazing day. Bye.